Oh, excuse me. Oh. There is a bug in here. I really love this lip. Hi, mommy. Hi, mom. Let's sit up here so I could be up high and look tall and proud. So, hello, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so sorry that I have been gone for what feels like forever. Actually, it has been forever. It's been like two months since I've put up a video on YouTube. Life has been happening. So anyways, today I am going to be doing a haul um, of a lot of collective makeup. But without further ado, uh, let's get into this video. And thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. What do I want to show you first? Okay, let's show you MAC. MAC came out with um, their Nutcracker collection and um, I only purchased two things which I'm pretty sure that you already know what they are. Girl, I need it, okay? I need it. The two things, the two first things that I'm going to show you that I bought is the Nutcracker, <laughs> Nutcracker, <laughs> what? The Nutcracker Sweet Copper Face Compact and the Nutcracker Sweet Peach Face Compact. They're super cute. They look like this. And these are compacts that come with a highlight and a blush. This, the, the Sweet Peach, has um, the extra dimension, which is the highlight in Tutu, and then it has the extra dimension blush in At Dusk. And then the Sweet um, Copper Compact has Whisper of Guilt Skin Finish, which is the highlight. And then for a blush, it has the extra dimension blush in Pleasure Model. I don't think I really have a favorite. And I never got Whisper of Guilt the first time, so I can't say if it's like the same exact formulation as like the first one. Um, because sometimes companies do that, which just depends on if they're reformulating it to make it better. Sometimes they have to reformulate it in order for it to fit the certain compact that it's going to be in. Because it maybe would have fit the rounder compact in a certain formulation better. Sometimes they have to add one or two things that make the face product different so I'm not I can't say that it's the same exact one as when they first came out because that one was a huge hit but I really do enjoy the highlighters that are in both of these um, I really do love the whisper of guilt it's a beautiful pale gold and I also love the tutu because it's a beautiful iridescent like pinky champagne peach so I love them both I don't love one over the other um, the blushes are really nice they're natural blushes um, even this one the darker one um, you kind of have to go in a little bit heavy if you want it to be a uh, color payoff nice but um, I really love them both uh, they were $35 each so I will be listing everything that I purchased below as well as the pricing right next to it if I can remember it. If there's a certain product that you want me to do like a demo on, please let me know. I am open to any suggestions and I will film what you want to see. So please let me know if you want me to um, do a video on any of the things that I mentioned today because I will definitely do that for you. The next things that I purchased from MAC were, you guessed it, other highlighters. So they came out with a range of um, strobing highlights. So they came out with um, four extra dimension, new four extra dimension highlights, um, and I believe six strobe creams in different tints. They are all permanent, as of what I know right now. So I haven't gotten all the strobe creams. I only have. Their original one I might get the gold but of course I did get all the four highlights so I'm going to show you Bleeming Blush which is one of the first ones this one is called Double Gleam I think this one's my favorite the next one that I bought was Show Gold and then this is the only one that I haven't used yet this one is called Soft Frost I just haven't gotten around to use it yet because I'm scared but my favorite um, out of the four that I've purchased are definitely Double Gleam and um, Bleeming Blush. These two together are freaking perfection. In the market for new highlights, check these out. These are really pretty. Okay, the next thing that I purchased was, I'm not going in a specific order. I'm just taking them out as how I see them. So whatever I grab first is what I'm going to show you. So the next thing that I purchased was the was a backup of my Select Cover Up Concealer in NC20. 
This concealer, what I use it for is for my brows. This is the best concealer ever. My favorite, favorite concealer to carve out, to clean up, not carve out, because you don't want to carve anything. I like my, my, my stuff snatched, so snatched. I like my stuff snatched. <laughs> I can't even talk. Oh my goodness. I got two little samples also of strobe cream. The next thing that I purchased was the MAC 221 brush. This brush is amazeballs and I can't live without this brush. This is absolutely perfect. It's amazing um, to blend things very precisely in your crease. Like if you're doing a cut crease or if you are doing like a shadow where you want the crease to be a little bit more defined and to be prominent, this brush is going to apply the shadow really nicely or buff out the shadow very precisely. So this is an amazing brush. If you do not have this in your kit, I promise that this is a life changer. This is my third one. I just love it. I feel like I always gravitate towards it all the time i have like a little spot that doesn't want to blend out with a bigger brush this brush is going to blend it out no matter what this brush is the best brush so you need to go get it at mac okay thank you it was time for me to get um some more of these these are the pro longwear concealers i picked up the shades nw20 and nc20 um nw is pink and then has a pink undertone and nc has a yellow undertone i always used to use nw20 um and then i got into a phase where i was like let me try yellow i see so many people using nc this nc that da, 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 yellow this under the eye da, da, da. so i purchased nc and i do like how it looks under my eyes um so i grabbed nc20 just to kind of mix with other ones or if i want to use this by itself because i know one of my best friends stephanie she loves nc20 and it looks beautiful when she puts it on her skin and we have almost kind of like the same skin tone um, or undertone I should say so yeah I picked up NC20 because it does look good on me but right now I think I figured out that I like of course I'm NC all the way like to my bones I am yellow and golden as ever but I do love more pink under eye I purchased NW20 because mine is already crusty and it even changed colors so I'm just gonna throw that in my bag for back to Mac so that I could give to my mom so that she could get whatever lipstick lip gloss eyeshadow that she wants because Mac does have a thing where they do recyclables so for every six products um, whether they be empty or you got them as a gift like they have to be the actual compact or like the actual packaging it can't be like this um you return anything in plastic or glass so let's just say that the only things that you can't that i know of so far are brushes and um pencils that you sharpen those don't qualify but if it's like a twisted pencil that qualifies um these concealers qualify lipsticks qualify um mascaras qualify compacts qualifies even the eyelash containers those containers they're plastic so they qualify hey you go in and you tell me that i'm gonna get a free lipstick i'm gonna be like me i want it anyways i sounded like an infomercial the next thing that i purchased was the studio fix um powder these are the best powders ever in the world oh my goodness i cannot live with my studio fix powders anymore and i am not one that i like to put powders on my face i don't put powder on my face to like set my face and for it to be matte i hate when my skin looks matte I've tried it and I promise you that even before I don't like my skin looking dry I hate it I hate it I need to look movable I do like my dry areas so I like my under eyes to look not dry but like set if I do not set my under eye oh my goodness who knows what would happen because I've never not set my under eye it's been years since I've been setting it I purchased the Studio Fix powder in NC10. It legit looks like white powder, but I promise you that it's gonna look good. Um, I love, the reason why I purchased this was because if you could tell, this is definitely not my skin tone, but I was using NW20 um, to set my under eye concealer to give a little bit more coverage to make it look a little bit more smoother as well and to kind of color correct if I wanted it more pink. Um, and I was in the store and I decided to just buy an NC version and I decided to go with NC10 because I do want to go back to a brighter under eye because I loved when I used to 
put my under eyes a lot more brighter. So I will let you know how I like the color. I am very excited to try it. The last thing that I purchased from MAC were paint pots. I used to have them before. Never had paints really. I did have soft ochre. And I'm pretty sure that I bought a brand new soft ochre. And I was barely using it. But I've been looking through my makeup collection. And I haven't found anything so I was just there so I decided to buy the soft ochre in conjunction with painterly soft ochre is going to be more yellow painterly is gonna be more pink this is how they look next I will be showing you some of the things that I purchased in Sephora um, part of it was for the VIB sale yes. and look at how cute the bag is like I love that so pretty. So give me like a little bag. It's little, but the stuff in there don't cost little. Let me tell you. But the first thing that I purchased was a replenish um, for my Laura Mercier translucent powder. This is brand new. This is a lifesaver. I have never tried a product like this in my life. Literally, this is a product that I use every single day of my life and existence i can't live without her she is the best thing ever if they ever discontinue her oh my god i cannot live without her i love her the cover effects um custom enhancer drops i got them in the shade celestial and moonlight I have mixed them in with my foundation and they do give a really nice luminous finish. I just have to play around with them more because, I don't know, like they're beautiful to have and when you swatch them they're like, ah, but I don't know, I just find that these are like difficult or they're more time consuming so I have to use them on days when I'm going to film and I have like the whole day to do whatever I want. I like them, I don't love them. I like them right now. So the next thing that I purchased from Sephora was the it bye bye pores primer it's the first time that i used it um i think i had to shake it like a lot because um when i was pumping it out um it was very very liquidy all that was coming out was like liquid the second time i used it it was really nice i've never used a primer kind of like this one it isn't thick um it's a thin primer it says that it's paraben free cruelty free oil free um, and it's developed with plastic surgeons and dermatologists. Josie Maron Vibrancy Argan Oil Foundation Fluid. I have this on right now. I really do love how it looks. Dewy foundation. This does give a really nice medium to buildable coverage for me. I really have been enjoying this foundation. I just purchased this um, on Monday. Um, and it is Friday right now. So I've used it for three days and I am really loving it. It's very liquidy. It's liquidy, but it's not like water where it's going to run everywhere. It kind of stays in place. But you'll, when you put it on, you'll be able to tell what I'm talking about. Um, I got my shade in Adventurous G55. I really do enjoy it. Um, I think it's beautiful. It makes my skin look beautiful, vibrant, glowy, how I like it. Um, but with this foundation, I have not noticed extra oiliness than I usually get with every other foundation so the next thing that I purchased from Sephora was the Giorgio Armani luminous silk compact but I just decided to try it because once I hear anything about Giorgio Armani I'm like oh my god okay I'll get it I got it in the shade 6.5 which is the same shade as my luminous silk liquid foundation I think the bottle looks so dope it's like such a weird ass shape and I've used it twice and I enjoy it, um, but I have to keep using it more to figure out if I love it. The next thing that I purchased was the Makeup Forever Pro Fusion Light. This is a highlight. It's number two. They came out with two new highlights, which is a pinky one, and then this one that I purchased, which is a more golden one. Um, I might get the pinky one because you know me. If they come out with a collection, I have to get the whole thing. I have it on today. It is the most gorgeous thing I've ever seen in my life. Um, this is amazing. The formulation is to die for. Check out the Makeup Forever Pro Light Fusion Undetectable Luminizer in the shade number two. You will not be disappointed by this little guy. The next things are going to be from online. The first thing that I purchased was from Sleek Makeup. I bought this online. I do not know where their headquarters are. All I know is that this took forever to get to my house. This palette is really beautiful. I bought the Sol Soltis? Solstice? 
Solstice highlight palette. It does come with a brush and I threw it away because I don't care for it. It comes with three powder, powder ones, powder highlights, and then one creamy one. The ones that I've used were these two up here. I haven't used the purple one yet, but this formulation is beautiful. And I think online, I've, the most I probably paid was $15. I think the palette was $12, and then I paid like $3 to $5 for shipping. And the product is really, really nice. You've already seen, this is like Highlight Central. I should literally name the video what highlighters to buy because I bought so many. The next place that I purchased things from was from Makeup Geek. Two eyeshadows. Um, I ordered uh, the eyeshadow in the spotlight and flamethrower. These are their foiled eyeshadows. So this is like a beautiful coppery shade. And then this one I felt like was just a nice shade to pair with this one. So I purchased these two to stick into my little Z palette. Last thing that I purchased from Makeup Geek was the Kathleen Lights Highlighter Palette. Look how pretty she looks in the back. Aww. So this was very expensive. These, these highlighters are very, very beautiful. They are foiled. Um, and they are a dream to work with. These are very pricey, but I feel like the quality is very on point and very nice. Last but not least, the last thing that I purchased was the um, Real Techniques Diamond Sponge Beauty Blender. I love this. I know that I have two of these, and I purchased one for my mom, and I purchased one for my best friend, too, for her birthday. My mom loves it. I love it. This is the best. But the face, this part, the top of the diamond, is my favorite part to apply foundation with. And then the sides of it, they have like a cut side, which I love. I love using that for um, the bottom of my under eye. In the two or three times that I've used it, I've fallen in love. I feel like this is one of the best beauty blenders that I've, or beauty sponges that I've ever used. Real Techniques never disappoints me. I I feel like the shape is so innovative. This was only $10 on their website, especially if you are looking for like a Christmas gift or a birthday gift or a holiday gift. And the box that it comes with, it's so cute. It looks very gift presentable. So a stocking stuffer, that's right. This can be a stocking stuffer. You are so smart, mom. All right, guys, that is everything that I've purchased. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it. If you want more hauls or if you want me to review any of the products that I've mentioned here in this video, please leave me a thumbs up and a comment below. And I hope you guys have a fantastic day. I will be editing this video. Hopefully, it'll be up by Sunday. So when you see it, it probably will be Sunday. Have a great time while you're seeing this. And that's all I have to say. Bye, guys.